Hi everyone, uh, today I wanted to have a, a deeper look at the uh, Tesla CCS adapter. Um, so here we, we have it here, uh, where you can see the CCS on this side and the Tesla end on that side. Um, so here you can see uh, the uh, little metal piece that sticks out here. And um, what I wanted to do is actually have a deeper dive and get a get an understanding of what's actually going on inside of the adapter to see whether it's uh, doing anything particularly interesting or whether it was just a straight pass through adapter. Um, and so how we're going to go about doing that today is uh, got my trusty multimeter and we're going to use it to uh, determine whether there's uh, any resistance between any of the pins and, and what the connections look like from one side to the other. Uh, so let's get that turned on. Um, and what we can do is we can see here that there's uh, currently no connection. And uh, when we uh, touch the probes together, we get a resistance of essentially zero ohms, which essentially means a, uh, um, a, a straight through connection. Um, so what we're going to start here is with the um, with the ground pin, and we're going to have a look at that one. Um, and so the ground pin uh, contact four is located here. And so I'm going to connect one up to the ground pin. And then, as we can see here, when we connect to the corresponding ground pin, uh, we get zero ohms of resistance. Um, any of the other pins don't show any connectivity. Uh, the same applies for contact four over here, which is the uh, control pilot on the corresponding side. On the corresponding side, you see zero ohms, and then any of the other pins provide there is no connection. Uh, we're going to repeat it again for contact five, which is the uh, uh, control status or proximity pilot, which is here. Repeating the same steps. Here. Zero ohms there. With nothing on any of the other pens. Zero ohms only on the one. And then the final step is the um, uh, DC high voltage DC connections. So we have uh, contact six, which is the DC positive, and contact seven, which is the DC negative. And so if we start with the DC positive here, contact six, you'll see that the connection corresponds to the opposite side here with zero, zero ohms of resistance and no connection on the negative. And as we do the opposite, on contact seven, which is DC negative, it connects to this one here with no resistance um, and no connection to any of the other pins. So interestingly, that, that that demonstrates that this is a, uh, a direct pass through from, from one pin directly to the other, um, where you can see here contact uh, three, which is the 
which is the ground or earth, uh, connects directly to the center one there, and the corresponding uh, contact four uh, connects to the control pilot here, um, and then uh, contact five, which is the uh, control status or proximity pilot, connects to the corresponding on this side, and then we have DC positive goes to the opposite side here, and uh, DC negative again goes to the opposite side there. Um, and so this is a, a, a straight through or dumb device. Uh, so if we look here on the details underneath, uh, it's rated at 500 volts DC and uh, three, sorry, yeah, 500 volts DC and 300 amps. Um, so the uh, control for that uh, limiting is presumably inside of the Tesla itself.